So here's the thing about successful fire building. You've got to have the right materials and then you've got to have the patience to spend the time preparing those materials properly. And then in order to really be successful, you have to understand what's going wrong and why. And once you get the fire lit, you have to understand what the fire needs and why. And that just takes practice. You've probably heard the phrase, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Well, with fire building, it's more like 20 minutes of preparation is worth about a minute of fire. If you haven't spent at least 20 minutes gathering and preparing your materials, don't even think about striking that match. I would usually spend between 10 and 30 minutes preparing for a one match fire. But when it comes to what I'm about to do, which is a hand drill fire, sometimes it's an hour or more in preparation before I even start spinning. Remember what I said about understanding what was going wrong and why? And then once the fire is lit, understanding what the fire needs. Well, that just comes with time, observation, and practice. And unfortunately, it takes a lot of trial and error to get there. So if you're trying to learn any kind of fire building, and especially friction fire building, you've just got to really be patient, persevere through the difficulty, and really adapt and overcome. Practice this stuff when there's no consequences for failure. Experiment with different materials, different techniques, and in all different kinds of conditions. Lost in the woods with hypothermia is not the time or place to learn how to build a fire. This practice will give us the knowledge that we need to prepare our materials properly for the specific kind of conditions that we're in. It also gives us the knowledge and ability to adjust what we're doing if we find ourselves struggling despite having done what we thought was the appropriate preparation. Instead of panicking when things don't go as we thought they would, we can quickly adjust course and make the necessary changes in real time to get that fire lit. Plus, lighting stuff on fire is pretty fun. So, you know, it's not like you really need much of an excuse to go practice. I was having a bit of a tough time getting enough oxygen into that tinder bundle. Ah, there we go. I finally got it. And now it's just a matter of keeping it going. Now I'm just reading the fire. What does it need more of? Does it need more oxygen? Bigger wood? Smaller wood? I'm just adjusting to what I see.